they don't make this as easy as it should be. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer data between your old switch and your brand new switch. And as I alluded to in my previous video talking about the Nintendo Switch, data transfer wasn't as easy as Nintendo should be making it here. So the first step I'm gonna tell you here is to make sure you have your Nintendo account available because you're gonna need that. You're gonna be signing in and out a lot between both devices. You actually need to kind of sign in to get the update because you're gonna need to update both of these before you can actually do the data transfer and it's kind of through the process that you sort of get the notice to do the update. It's really backwards. I don't understand why they're doing this, but just make sure you have a Nintendo account ready. Not your Nintendo network ID. They treat it as two separate things if you don't have them linked up. Make sure you have a Nintendo account ready to go. So the next thing you need to make sure is that you have a power source available for both consoles because it's not going to let you just transfer without having these plugged into a source of power. Not sure why they do that, but you need to make sure you have that available because it won't let you go through the next step without it. Now, once you have everything signed up and updated, you're going to want to choose one console as a source, one console as the target. So to do this, to set this up, you need to go in system settings in both consoles. You need to scroll down to users. You need to select your user account and then you need to select transfer user data. And when you select it through here, it's gonna be able to transfer your user data and your save data at the same exact time. So for my target, I set up the Nintendo Switch Lite with that, went through the prompts and signed in and got that set up. Once I had that set up, I started working on the source, here's my original Switch, and I went through the sign in process through there, set that up as a source, and once the source detects the target, they automatically link up and they begin the data transfer process. And the process doesn't take too long. I didn't have a whole lot of data on the console, so it only took maybe about five to eight minutes or so to transfer my data right on over to the new console. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. But there's a couple of problems that I had here. One, I definitely wanted to have this set up. I know I set this up in the way that both of my, uh, both of my Switch and the Switch Lite were going to have my account on it so I can keep both of them. But for whatever reason, it signed me out of my old Switch still. So I had to sign back in and sync all my data again on that. I also wanted to transfer my SD card over from my old Switch to my new one. And for some reason in 2020 still, you have to format your card, even though it's your data coming from your Switch to another Switch that you own that has your account on it. Nintendo still forces you to delete your data and wipe your card. I don't get that. It is near 2020 Nintendo and we are still doing this with data. You guys need to fix that ASAP because it just really doesn't make any sense. But that's how you transfer your data from your old Nintendo Switch to a brand new Nintendo Switch. Hopefully they'll make this process a lot easier and a lot smoother in the near future. It hasn't affected my opinion so far on the Switch Lite. I have really enjoyed using this so far. Definitely check out my uh, first video talking about a Switch if you wanna see my initial impressions with it. And also my review coming up probably uh, down the line not too far from now, and I'll definitely link it over here in the video so you can check it out if you watch this video after. Thanks for watching, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.